Daddy, I always planned on writing to Grandpa. Never came to do it. Never thought it was you I was supposed to write to. Where does one begin? So much to say. So many emotions. Never pictured this day to watch time pass with the thought of one day, any hour, any minute, any second, may be your last day. You have been our Superman. You've been our superhero. But we all know even superheroes have their end. But your legacy lives on. Inside of me lies an ocean of tears. Inside of my mind are echoes of screams. To sit here and say, it's okay to go home. Such little words with such big meaning. My heart shatters at the thought of holidays not being the same. My heart shatters knowing you were always my valentine. My heart shatters knowing I was your little mini-me. But it's an honor knowing I've grown up to be just like you. Because I see the footprints you have left on so many hearts. You changed lives just by being amazingly you. You were a man that never crumbled, never wavered. You were always the same. It's an honor to call you my father. You were a father of my many titles. You didn't just teach, you showed. You taught many what a true Christian is. You taught me how I'm supposed to be loved and cared for. You taught me how to love. You taught me how to be independent. No one is perfect, but you sure was close. In this process, I've come to learn beyond what we are taught. That true faith doesn't always come after a miracle. True faith comes in the unknown. God's will, not our will. Because God's will could be anything we may not even understand in the moment. To sit here and say, I need to see a miracle. Would that mean that if we don't see what we want, then do we forget about God? Reality is, you are already a living miracle, but you're slowly stripping away. I've begun to see God molding broken pieces inside of me. God only knows my emotions want it to be bitter. I'm carrying your granddaughter. I wanted you to meet her. You got to meet Sissy's kids. They got to have you in their lives. I just wanted you to hold Ava. You were supposed to be here for her birth. But I know God's plans aren't always our plans. They say sometimes people hold on until they're released. Realize I was the only one that didn't release you. God knows I don't want to. But to release is to allow God to fully fulfill His will. It's in the surrender when we are truly allowing God to be God. And if I truly know you, I know you will say cling to God no matter what the answer is.